Yo, 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 what's up, what's up? How's everyone doing? Bet you guys didn't expect me to upload this sooner. Hey, it's top 11, man. I'm trying to get rid of my old content. So anyway, in this video, I will be showing you how to train a chip winger in top 11. Doesn't matter whether AML or AMR or even MR and ML. Like you could use this to train any of those four positions, but just make sure those last two guys have um, their forward attacking positions so that you can have the shooting and the finishing trained up to a higher level. With that being said, on the thumbnail, I put their two players, Modric and Martinelli. Now, as the drills start off, I was using the same drills, but uh, because each player is different, I had to swap some things around, you know, to make the drills more efficient. And I suggest you guys keep doing that. Like, if I have like a set amount of rest outside for players, maybe your player may have more of a particular attribute, so you may have to use less rest packs on some drills and more on others, but the structure still stays the same. Though for these two players, it kind of, can I say, was a bit different towards the end. If you like pause the video and you look at both the training schedules for these players, they are similar but they are also different. You get what I mean when you look at them. And also, unfortunately, I don't have any of those possession drills like ball control, fast touch play rapid side switch, stay in lane, contact play and passes before short. And that's because by the time I train these players, I think it's actually a year now <laughs> I've been holding on to this content. But eh, let me just release it. Anyway, I don't have those drills in these training schedules. Maybe if I do come up against like some other player, I will try to fit them in over time. You never know, some of them are quite efficient. Anyway, with that being said, I'm going to chop the training schedules here. If you want to use them, you can pause the video, take a screenshot. Now I'm going to leave you guys like a small montage of both players so that you can look at them and see which one might suit your player more. It will also help you understand how to change around like the, the drills so that you can get the best out of your rest packs. I hope this helps you understand the training different players. You may need some more rest packs somewhere else and less on another drill because I mean in the end every player is unique. They're not going to have the same skill attributes and uh, if you have had the player for some time in your team by the time they reach like 20 or 21 i'm pretty sure the skills are completely unique or different especially if you have been like training them in the background without like paying any close attention to them anyway this is how the players progressed and that brings us to the end of the video as you can tell from now, I'm actually trying to make a comeback. My channel actually is almost dead. Uh, I think I have had under 10k views for like the past 7 months. I mean, I'm to blame in the end because I wasn't releasing any content. Just needed a break, honestly. Because when I was grinding up to get monetization, I, I really pushed. So anyway, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.